Okay, welcome to E24 News. And today we are going to learn how to do first aid in case when you're doing your videos, some are pranking people. What if this happens? And today we are going to talk about this video about Senior Dave. In this video, Senior Dave, Haribu Akufe. And what we know today is there was a lot of poor management of this case in terms of giving first aid and even the response the doctor gave. So today I have my friend. I want her to introduce herself. I will become a handicapenter. I'm a foodie. And why I see things the things could have done better. Generally, I'm not only a photographer, I'm a food scientist, and I have someone here who will say my uh, name. My name is Grace Mutua. I'm a nurse by profession. And uh, I saw the video as well, yes. and I thought it's good people to know some of the basics before now they start taking most of the actions people take after mm -hmm. something happens. Mm -hmm. First, like in the senior Dave's uh, prank case, yeah. yeah, there's this guy, you know, trying to remove him from the front seat mm -hmm. to the back seat. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a time he's sleeping, the head is down, the legs are up. Mm. You know, that's 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 mishandling a mm. patient. Yes. In that case, this person, mm. uh, let's say they didn't know it's poisoning or something, but mm. this person is unconscious. Mm. That is first step to know this patient needs first aid, mm. being unconscious. Yes. So the first thing they would have done before they start running up and down in the car is removing the patient from the car mm. to lie flat on the ground. Mm. Something that is that airy, mm. it's no crowd. Mm. Then they wanganza kufanya CPR. Mm. CPR nile kufinya kifua, like that two times yes. per minute. Yeah. Wange press, walalisha side moja, mm. kicho ingia inside juu ya kutoa mate to avoid choking. Mm. That would even have resuscitated the patient mm. very fast. Hata mm. before fiki hospitali, hiyo mm. tukuduyo kuenda walienda yote, mm. in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, this patient angekua meketi mm. na ameanza ku, kuongea, mm. ku breathe normally. Mm. Then, another thing, mm. after patient amekua conscious, mm. ameamuka, Mm. after the CPR. Mm. Kuna, you can even give water. Mm. If you don't have salt or sugar, mm. at that point, unaiza mpatia to plain water mm. in bits, mm. not mm. once. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. 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 Kidogo, kidogo, like a sip, a sip, a sip, mm. until akwe fully conscious. Mm. Then after that, now you can go to a pharmacy mm. or even a clinic. Mm. But if you can get a uh, charcoal tablet, mm. In any poisoning, mm. like a substance in India, mm. tumbo, mostly charcoal tablets work the best. Mm. They can save a life. Yes. And they only cost five shillings per yes. tablet. Very affordable. Very affordable. Mm. And I think most pharmacies stock. What if now, uh, in a normal scenario, we have a chemist. What can I do if I cannot access a chemist in the next, the next like 10 minutes? CPR is very okay. Yes, I'm going to CPR. After CPR and the patient is conscious. Yeah. Patient is conscious, mm. kufika kwa any clinic, mm. ata ikuwa mbali aje. Mm. Itakuwa shao ready, usha save life. At least, yeah. The patient will be breathing. Mm. You will, uh, the patient will even be able to talk. Mm. So, ata, ata, ata sema, maybe senior Dave ange sema what cost. Mm. Ata ange, ange fika kwa clinic, the mm. doctor ange kwa confused. Mm. Ange kwa ready ame piana information. Kuna drink ni mepewa na mtu, mm. and I think it was intoxicated. Mm. Ama ilikuwa poisonous or mm. something. Na unazatumia makaya kawaida, because kitambo, mm. mato wakua, mato wakua na shida ya mekunja poison, yuku unapewa maziwa ama unapewa makaa. Hata makaa. Makaya kawaida. Makaya kawaida, mm. iyo powder. Mm. Lakini nowadays it's not recommendable, because mm. most of the trees nafanywa makaa, they are poisonous. Mm -hmm. So ah, you can crush, yeah. you can do that, and now at it was so harmful. You, you add more poison. Yeah, you worsen. Yeah. You worsen the mm -hmm. patient because kuna maka, mm -hmm. kuna maka inakata kwa miti very poisonous. Mm -hmm. Kitambo maka was, you know, something ilikuwa, walikuwa careful what they kuna are doing. Kuna miti poisonous unajua kweli. I'm a food sensor, but I don't know. Unless it is a tula, the tula is still, I think it's not even, the, the roots are okay. Kuna miti, mm -hmm. kuna miti ifai, ifai, yezi kuwa edible. Yeah, by then you kweli. 
una miti poisonous ati kakushika mm. kwa skin mm. utaanza ku inflammate yeah. upate rash mm. kama ni kulamba you can imagine the vidonda utapata kwa mdomo yeah by the way mepata sasa mm. uh, what about milk milk is always safe oh. but mm. milk has its own issues mm. kwa sababu mm. let's say patient alikuwa amekunywa chai na ilikuwa poisonous mm. sitei kona maziwa mm. So when the, this patient is taking another milk mm. I think ni kama kuongezea chumvi kwa kidonda. Oh, mepata. Yeah. So the best because already there is a poisonous milk. Yeah. Kwa tumbo. Mm. Then you add another fresh milk. Mm. Ni ndimu ukaweka maziwa ndimu hata drop moja the whole milk is spoiled. Mm. So that was that is mostly what will happen. Yes, how do mepata? Mepata hiyo trick sasa. Mm. No, the other thing is um I had my my issue with this. Mm. So kwa ngetafuta wangefanya sipira mpe maji ya chumvi na sukari ingekuwa hata maji tu plain eh, ingekuwa ya yeah, ingekuwa very safe na hii wakati umemboraisha unafanya sipira mm. kisha na miguu zikuwe same level ama kitu ikuwe unaweza unaweza inua miguu yeah. kwa level tu kidogo mm. kurudisha consciousness kwa brain mm. but this case mm. si kufaint ame faint mm. this is consciousness because of a poison, yeah, poison. so hata miguu ikakuwa flat mm na kichwa ilale side mm. upate mm. kichwa inakaa hivi because povu mm. inatoka mm. then you do the cpr mm. aamke ataamka tu atachok mm. ataamka tu once mm. atakuwa confused mm. for some few seconds mm. atakuwa confused but this time unampatia maji bit by bit mm. utaona anarudisha mm. normalcy mm. Ata, atarudi very normal in a very short period mm dan sasa umpeleke hospitali anze kuongezewa drip anze kuongezewa maji the doctor does you know what and treat because the patient is not talking how about inducing uh, vomiting patient are unconscious ni ngumu ku induce oh, it's not possible it's not possible oh. not unless after she are conscious mm. i induce i give a vidole at the time to vomit poison your poison oh wow after me amen me eh yeye mwenyewe ad induce but mtu are unconscious mm. The brain is not at that time you I function. Mm. So wezi 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 induce anything. Mm. At that point you have just to wait until that patient wakes up. Na mostly CPR mm. ju unafinya kifua utaona anaanza mm. kuamka. Then akiamka ju kuchok mostly mm. anaanza ku vomit because this poison iko kwa tumbo. Mm. Ataanza ku vomit. Mm. So okay gari kwa hii video mm. senior dev amefikishwa hosi. Mm. Do you think the procedure that the doctor is doing here is okay? The procedure mm. nikiangalia the doctor was a little bit not sure what is happening. Yes, I know that true. Because mostly casualty. Mm. Now now that was their casualty. Yes. In casualty mm. you have to you know to react mm. with the danger mm. that is there at hand. Mm. When when a patient is brought yeah. in with pov kitoka mm is there's a way there's a way as a doctor you need to respond kuna kuna vile daktari anafaa ku respond because this is now between death and living unajaribu ku save life yake so when you are trying to figure out what is happening you are taking too long to navigate whether it's poisoning whether it's an epileptic episode whether it's a you know there are things you need to be very very, very fast yes because mm-hmm. as a doctor you need you kuna vile uki unaweza jua mtu ni epileptic mm. a moving mm. na baada ya nimeona ile maisha ile ile ndio kashika mtu hivyo mtu mtu siku ni kwa very very hard ina anakwanga hivi yeah. project an episode yeah. Yeah. na inaanza kwa brain ikienda mm. ikienda ikien, mm. so anakanga hivi mm. so this person was not vibrating mm. this person mm. was very calm Hello. but anatoa pain mm. so directly unajua this is not a pilot mm. episode mm. unajua this is poison mm. jumtu anatoa pain it means kitu kwa tumbo mm. most of the cases mm. Mm. so yeah, the thing yeah, angeanza yeah. nayo ni mm. angeanza cpr mm. before hata amweke drip ya normal saline mm. because that is yeah. that should always yeah. come mm. after the patient is conscious tuko mm. si ndio unafaa kuweka patient drip kumongeza hizo salts mm. ame lose mm. The only thing niliona hapo ali take too okay the doctor took too long mm. to, you know to do what is necessary. Jota yes. ngekoroga chako. 
and get crash your tablet at some particular yeah, mostly you powder form clinics should have that yeah mostly because the emergencies come from anywhere na mostly especially cause watoto dio na kula kwa kitu kitu ama watu wazima wanaweza kula kwa hiyo unletewa haraka so i think i think i think people need to know the basics the first aid hata before mfike hospital what should have been done yeah because kwanza una notice uh, wali mbeba wali mbeba sio safari yetu kumbeba kitu uh, iko chini kwanza amelala chini na nikikitia nyuma ana mtu amemsupport atakaanza kutapika haezi toa na kitu iko chini so hata na choko yeah uh. i think they need also to be very you know informed mm. when you're doing such pranks mm. be informed mm. like have some information of anything can happen mm. so what happens next mm. you know mm. when you're doing something is something like a catalog mm. after this mm. what next if this what next but i feel like i will not even because i'm also a content creator mm. i would say this i will not even attack content creators because i feel like there's a general ignorance about handling many cases if yeah. you know, because many people are not informed by the way even that kids way, yeah. like you can leave a kid with your house help mm. maybe that kid takes something mm. that's poisonous yes. like a drug or something mm. This if you, if the your house self is informed. not even informed about what to do mm. so that patient or that kid is going to be mishandled mm. and we are going to lose a life yeah because so it, all this happening mm. we need to have like you know some information some general information mm. you know you don't need to be a medic mm. to know all that yeah, no but first aid should always be with us everywhere emergencies happen everywhere yeah. in the office Yeah. at home you know mm. kwa barabara kwa mat ndani mm. so anything can happen but people if, if you if the people around you mm. are not informed you are mm. going to lose a life because in this case hata mimi mwenyewe niliangalia nikashidwa eh kuna vitu hata kama you can see mm. is senior dev mm. ah wanjama wawili wana wanajaribu kumsave mm. the huyu mwenye ana, anaitwa ndio director mm akijaribu kumweka kwa siti ya nyuma mm. the other guy who came to help also sat in front in front so senior deva na fightia life yake nyuma alone peke yake kitu ni angalia chini they are try okay to them mm. they were helping yes but that was not help i know that was not help they were not informed how to help mm. in such a case mm. because kumto actually wangemlalisha inji ya gari mm. wamfanye cpr mm. the next minute was in your dev waking up mm. then trying to tell them mm. nimepewa this drink mm. so directly on gejo ni poison now they start hata maybe wangepata hiyo msichana wangefika hospitali eh uju kuna watu wangemi wangetulea sema hiyo msichana toka sasa hizi hebu tupige mtu wa na pia yeah. wao akileda hawa si ile ako sawa america ba so all these mm. all these i think what happens to senior what happens to senior dev mm. was a lot of ignorance a lot of misinformation mm. a lot of actually lack of information mm. of what to do next mm. so like you know nowadays people are creating so many contents mm. everywhere mm. in the machinani tao mm. wapi people are creating contents mm. but people need to know as much as things dangers are just around us yes you may be pranking someone who is going to prank you at the end of the day yeah. because to senior dev alikuwa na prank to them aka prank you yeah aka prank you so you need to know roles can change at any point have have a group that is you know looking out because also having someone for security purposes huyo msichana hata before i atoke kwa gari someone would, would have been standing there to wewe ngoja kidogo angeenda mm. because there must be a team mm. like a team who mm. must what is happening to senior dev na pia tunafanya hiyo like although hiyo incident at least imefunza watu that if, as much as you are doing content just know that you can meet someone who is very dangerous yeah, so you can how, be pranked learn how even to handle cases that hata unaza dukwa kisu yeah so have a way of if mtu amedukwa kisu what do we do what is the first first aid first aid because huyo jamaa kama alikuwa amedukwa sana kisu to see your life is here. Kitambo akimbia all the, all the time they took. Mm. I think kama ingekuwa case of bleeding mm. na we don't know the organ imedungwa ama mali yamedungwa mm. ingekuwa tulipoteza a life. Oh, true. So to save a life mm. is to get informed. Mm. And information is power. Yes. Especially these days that everybody is looking out for themselves. Mm. We need to have some you know some a bit of small information. Mm. Because mimi nimeangalia hiyo video and i'm seeing so many loopholes yes. like 
so many openings. The good thing is the person was not that strong otherwise. I think yeah. that girl does that. Mm. Yo kazi yake. And mostly mm. don't eat things just like that. that. Don't first. look at people and judge them the way they look. Never eat something from a stranger if ye hakuri. Kwanza before mpatie hii drink actually ingekuwa si ni Dave ningemwambia kwanza sip. Sip yeah kunywa. Because you cannot take something from a stranger then you start you know putting it in the mm. you know kamili yako you don't know what is this. Unjua hata biashara gani huyu mtu anafanya. Mm. Ako tu kwa street. Mm. Okay maybe Sinia Dave was the main victim. Mm. There was someone who was Yeah, being... Sinia Dave was was an accident of victim. Yeah, there was the main Beredia victim. Had prepared something to go to yeah. uh, Nairobi bahari. Mm. Baka baka prankwa na Sinia Dave. So akakuwa end your target mm. for that day. Mm. Some things, some things happen for people to get to know. Yes, to know, but then equally. Because another now because many people are doing the same thing, mm. pranking in the streets. Mm. You know, why kuna lesson mulisoma. Of course. Mimi kama content creators. Mm. There are some ignorance you are, you are not going to put it now, mm. you know, openly. Yeah. I think I'm I'm feeling like I will need more episode on that because you see like what I have come to the studies on the issue of uh hey what what are na information sana by the way. Na hata kuna mtaniambia ah mimi unajua kwa tukiga kwa club watu wanasema bona ni bona ni ni kufa na very good intestines. But I think like, I'm happy that um, we have explained everything mm. and what could have been done. Maybe we could do another one because I feel like uh, this is the information that people need to know. Because what we get to do it na ngamuta kwa jaka tunakimbia kwa chemist na kule tuna and without even knowing maybe before they were chemist and they find if he save life ya mtu. Even being in the medical it does not mean you are informed. informed. No then, doctor mwenye sinya deva nikika kwa. Huyo that guy seems like someone who doesn't know what to do next. Yes. True. You know at times hata mm. madaktari mm. we need to consult mm. I know alikuwa na madaktari kwa simu yake angekoa this patient amekuja akiwa hivi na hivi what do I do mm. next because ali, maybe maybe alipani okay, kama it was the first time you know something coming to his mm. attention like that mm. labda ku exposed ama hajafanya kazi sana kwa hospital yeah. you know you can even die in the hands of a doctor mm. true so being informed as as a, and and I remember in the clip who mm. who director so. was in Yadev alitaja mambo ya poisoning mara kama mara kama tatu yeah the three times yes. actually mm. alitaja mm. and the doctor is not taking it seriously yeah like you know treating poison mm. the doctor was just taking his own I time think he's more of a fresher who jama haja haja treat watu for long he's not informed that unaweza kuumekaa kwa hii field but you kutana na hiyo case but you research pia i feel like a doctor should you be know if the main cases you are finding are you know homa mm. malaria mm. typhoid mm. there's there are some things you mm. won't just be informed that or you that consult yeah. that's why i'm saying this doctor could have consulted a yes. doctor yes. you know somewhere else like mm. another hospital yeah. hai kuna patient ameletwa na anatoa povu mm. what do i do mm. you know mm. angeambiwa hiyo sana sana ni poisoning mm. try you know mpe charcoal mm. mpe do this do that mm. at least ingekuwa a little bit faster yes. before kitambua mtafuta sasa kama angekuwa saline kumweka drip i don't think sinya dev would be alive today to be sincere yeah mm. kuna watu kosa line mm. and you are alone you don't have someone else to help you get mm. you know that line for mm. an iv mm. so you know things things can happen mm. at times without ile ile conscious kuna kitu tu hata mm. senior dev actually mimi naweza blame mm. you need to take like a second thought mm. kwa nini udema anipea juice na kunywe kwanza ndio kupewa ni sawa na kwa anaifunywa tukipata unajua kuna ule mtu mnapata tanga akikunywa mm. anaifunika na amekataa kukunywa yeye mwenyewe na yeye mwenyewe hajaikunywa mm. na akiingia na kwa gari hakuwa mm. nayo what happened is what i would say is because uh, men we have a problem we always you see i have said i've um, been always saying this we have made women victims so we never see them aggressors aggressors so what i would say is i want to blame him so much is the concept that we have as a society ya kuna dem hizo kwa hapa unaona she looked so innocent so yeye yeah, i think aliangalia hiyo unaona akasahau but always usipate usukunywa kitu kwa stranger kama ya kwanza kwanza yeye atutumii es, especially ni prank eh yeah. unajua no, ni mtu hujui hata general stranger wewe kwa kazi 
na labda huyo pia kwa kazi mm. so you might end up being the victim yes at the end of the day mm. mtu anaweza kuja like in your studio mm. akuje mm. alikuwa anataka kufanya kitu mm. then you end up kuwa a target mm. you not even suspect anything because you know customers wanakuja anataka hii nataka hii mm. there are some things as content creators mm. nini mm. kwa streets mm mkuwe kiafu mm. be careful don't judge atujutu naona ni kasiana kadogo mm. you are falling for mm. senior deva ngekata hiyo juice alikuwa Nekola. alikuwa na authority ya kusema azini kopoa kopoa uh, but because kama ukunywi he was so fast even to open it and drink mm. without thinking mm. what if you know i think it's good to what if? to be cautious if you unazima urukunywe kunywa kwanza ni kunywe Mwambie um, basi onja. Yes. Because if it's a drink to be taken, mm. anafaa ku test. Mm. Kama ku test, it means something is wrong. Yes, ukata. And from that point, mm. you need now to raise alarm. Mm. Because ange ibiwa, first mm. simu zake zote mbili zilienda. I'm seeing the girl picking both phones. Mm. And Wadhu anasemanga mm. siku ya nyane kufa. Niti yote uteleza. <laughs> But always kuna kitu moja nimekuja kusoma try to be excuse that spedagi hata ku greet strangers na mkono mwenye even prefer quarter because like uh, you never know what people are doing fanyika you know people so think poison is only edible yes there are so many types of poison it might be gas yes inaweza kuwa liquid spray. form inaweza kuwa spray mm-hmm. inaweza kuwa solid imepakwa press eh anaweza kuwa hata amejipaka kwa mkono atakuja kusalimie au utashika shika steering mm. you start touching your phone your eyes mm. your face mm. the next thing you're inflammating mm. you're fainting you're getting unconscious you know but you are, you your poison does not only come in kitu taeka kwa but hiyo tutakuja another day mm. because hiyo kitu ni i'm sure i have so many questions bwana mimi nimejipaka wewe una mimi si idea effect but although wewe maybe nimejipaka but sijibozi na nimepaka uko na ufani You know, you know someone who has something poisonous mm. are very conscious. Yes. Junior kona. Yeah. Where you very unconscious. True. You have no idea. Mm. So you are doing it, you know, ignorantly and hata unaweza salimia mtu na kuibia tu. Mm. Na kuibia tu mkiongea. Kuna hiyo kuna hiyo. Because ile poison anatumia imefungia kwa brain. Eh kuna hiyo watu wanasalimia nanga na ama ana ana kupuliza unaruhusu kwa ni conscious. Na kuna mwenye hata utakuwa tu namwangalia mm. hata watu wakipita pita wazi suspect mm. like, but you may lose consciousness but wewe concentration hauna mm. so uta realize after shaiba kila kitu ameenda that's when you are realizing na nime hiyo kitu imeona kwa watu wengi hata kuna mtu ili happen ya hivyo baada na kuanga na hiyo ugoga juu nimeona watu kama wanataka size wa maybe hiyo unasalimia mtu una lose concentration most of you guys yenye mnafanya content creation mnafanya mm. a lot of it inside the, inside the car hata anaweza kosa kuongea because mnasema the other people are you know listening to what is happening ama they are seeing what is happening mm. anaweza kutumilia something else mm. anaweza tumia something like a spray spray hata ukifanya you will not you know what happen is mm. with a spray you know when you listen to someone let me ask you this you in another room na nisikiza nikiogea if you are two people in tunya maze somebody will tell you something is not okay mm bona okay then ujue kwa tunazoyanga if i'm pranking you Dema kitoka na simaga nimebatu subscribe mbona mm. sikusikia mm. so sina red flag that's that's team work mm. and and most of you when you mnafanya hiyo content to say to very keen mnakosa hiyo mm. team work mm. because hata kama naona what is happening mm. ama nasikiza what is happening mm. mtu kukushika shika na something poisonous mm. mkiongea that's normal wagari mtu atakushika hivi mm. atakwambia nini you'll joke mm. about something mm. so wewe mm. utaendelea tu utaendelea tu utaendelea tu by the time ana by, by the kama ni kitu ilikuwa ingia kwa skin you'll start having but you better pay uoga karibu mtu afanya akapa kufanya nini i would say this by the way si uoga i'm see, just you know that think, that is what you good at i think i would say this uh, although i would agree with you because as a food scientist kuna vitu sometimes nasemaga watu na pesa tutakula nini unaona but mm. i feel like uh, kuna hiyo like we should have a, even if you are doing content have a way if the lady amemtoka nje lazima nipige horn unaona mm. ama ni akishe light 
to signal to the other person whether I'm going to manini I'm okay. Like when I come here, conversation like if I'm not, if I they may make immediately, you may cope signal. Come on, you may fish a light. You may pick a hole. You may cause and the one you may cause, we do things are not okay. No, no. If I feel dizzy, then come as soon as I come to the room, happen here. I'll interfere. Hold. Senior Deva Kiongea before I end the unconscious. Aki kunywa. Aki kunywa. Aki vila lisipi ya kwanza kuna vila lipana. Kuna vila lifanya ni kama mtuwa yuko poa. Anaza kusigia. But aku sense araka. Aka kunywa ya pili. Uka wana tena something is wrong. Aki kunywa ya tatu. Njua lienda tufu. Once. Aka collapse. Then the lady took everything. One by one. Hata alikuwa na time yake. Ya kumisikiza kama amekuwa unconscious. Na who this lady didn't know the others. Outside. Senior Dave. Hmm. Ya kuwa na joku na wengine. But alimanage kufanya everything. I think the question, the, the thing is here, let us be safe. Because uh, accident will always happen no matter how cautious we are. Mm. But as long as you are, you have a way of communicating, whether in the skiza ama nini, because I believe there are better ways of communicating. You don't have to say, kuja na kuna fear na skia hivi, but if they, they had a way of communicating, they could have worked. Mm. The next thing, always be safe. Tonight in the next video, at least leo tumesoma, if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know. At least leo umejua what would happen if umepewa poison, ama alafikia kwa mepewa poison kama this video, what to do. Kuna next video, remember to share and subscribe.